Do you want to be able to add images, social media icons, and icons to your video like this in iMovie? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Hi, I'm Des, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add images, social media icons, and icons to your videos so they show up like this in iMovie. Whether it's images, social media icons, or icons, you can easily add them in iMovie. Let me jump on a computer and show you how. Once you have your main clip added, you will need an image with a transparent background. These are known as PNG files. If you're searching for images on Google, make sure you put PNG at the end of the search. A PNG image should have a checkered background. If it has a colored background, it's not gonna be suitable for what we want. Right click and then save the image to your computer. Now in iMovie, add the icon we have just saved. So search your computer for where you downloaded it. Add the icon or picture. Then you can drag it here or you can click the arrow here and then search your files for the image. If you want it to appear throughout your whole video, then just grab the handles on the left and the right and drag them to the beginning and end like this. At the top left and right corner, once you click the image, so let's click the icon. Once you click it, you will see two dots appear. If you drag these inwards slightly, this will add a fade to the icon at the beginning. And you can also fade it at the end by dragging it in. This will fade out. By default, when you add an image or icon over the top of a video in iMovie, it adds Ken Burns effect. Now Ken Burns effect is great, but we don't need it for this. So what we need to do is take the Ken Burns effect off. You can do this by following these simple steps. Click on the cropping icon once. Under style, click fit. The Ken's burn effect is off. Now click the video overlay settings here. Click on the drop down and select picture in picture. From here you can resize your image or social media icon and drag it in place where you want it. If you want to fade, use the dots, drag it inwards. If you don't want to fade, leave the dots alone. That's how you add images or social media icons or icons to your iMovie video. Just remember by default when you add an image, the reason it's so big is because it adds a Ken Burns effect with a start position and an end position. That's why when you scrub through the timeline, you will see the image move from the bottom to the top. Just make sure you take the Ken Burns effect off, add picture in picture, then you can resize your image and then stretch it out for the whole video or just a portion of the video which you want. If you wanna see more videos like this one and videos on YouTube tips and the best apps to help you get online with video, then consider subscribing. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. I release videos weekly to help you get online with video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Whether it's images, social media icons or icons, they're easy to be... Whether they're images, social media icons or, or icon, <laughs> whether they, <laughs> whether it's whether it's whether it's images, hello, whether it's whether it's. <laughs>